This time, Vegeta. The final one. <laughs> Let's go already. And then we get into the what ifs. Why are we starting on Namek? This is incorrect. After losing to Goku on Earth, it just completely skipped it. Okay. Vegeta makes his way to planet Namek in hopes of using their Dragon Balls to become immortal. However, Vegeta is followed by Q, who has been ordered by Frieza to kill him. It's not long before Q makes his presence known. Vegeta's fighting experience on Earth has raised his power level beyond that of Q. Q pretends to offer an alliance to Vegeta, but in reality, he's trying to get Vegeta to lower his guard. <laughs> That's what you get! I can't believe you actually fell for that old gag! Fat lot of good all that power did at the moment of truth, huh? Really? So that's what it is then? I have to say, even for you, that was a pretty dismal move. No! No! It can't be! If there were any brains in that head of yours, you'd have realized my speed has increased as well. Which means, unfortunately for you, that little ruse only succeeded in pissing me off. The Saiyans are a true warrior race! Don't underestimate them! Oh, they changed it a bit. Got the original audio. So they redid the audio in that move. Let me hear it again. The Saiyans are a true warrior race! Don't underestimate us! Yep. Audio completely changed. Okay, now onto the fight. Got this guy's easy. Welcome back. You're through. Let's not kill you yet. Let's kill you with this. What lovely fireworks. I'm afraid you're fired. <laughs> I'm afraid you're fired. And we unlocked him. Cool. One less character for me to buy. If what I heard over the scouter is to be believed, all seven Dragon Balls are needed in order to make a wish. I only need to find one to prevent Frieza from being able to use them. Those Earthling stooges will find the other six for me. Then I'll take them all. Once I get that wish, not only will I be granted eternal life, but no one, not even Frieza himself, will be able to stand in my way. I'll be uncontested, utterly invincible. I, Vegeta, Prince of all Saiyans, will rule the universe! Achoo! The guy who also had his voice changed, damn it! As Vegeta searches for the Dragon Balls, he locates Adoria, whom he then challenges and truly defeats, who also had his voice changed, apparently. Based on Dororia's words, Vegeta suspects that there are humans on planet Namek. Though he tries to track them down, he ultimately isn't able to find them. So the characters I don't like that had their voices changed is GT Goku, Dodoria, and Gohan. Abandoning his search, he departs for an Amekan village to obtain a, a Dragon Ball. Uh, the one that's not adult the, before that one, yeah. They had their voice changed. Maybe the Kai versions, I'm not sure. After attacking the Namekian village and obtaining the four-star Dragon Ball, Vegeta hides it underwater and goes in search for the remaining Dragon Balls. Vegeta appears before Zarbon, who is also on the hunt for the Dragon Balls. He informs him that he has defeated Dodori and that he will be next. Vegeta, 
you cur. Why would you dare defy Frieza? Isn't it obvious? I hate the bastard, always have. And now that there's a chance not to just seize eternal life, but to wrench free of his control at the same time. Well, the real question is, why in my right mind wouldn't I turn against him? Starting to get the picture, pretty boy? You're seeking to use the Dragon Balls for yourself. Frieza will not get his dirty hands on them! By the shift in sound. And once I'm given immortality, Frieza is as good as dead! This joke of an empire is finished! Certainly even someone as thick as you knows it'll take more than immortality to conquer Frieza. Enough talk! You've never had a real taste of Saiyan power. So here, eat up! Miss me. You can't deflect it when you don't have enough bars, so you just have to take it. Bravo, Vegeta. Your progress intrigues me. Enough so that I feel it's only courtesy to show you the full extent of my own power. Something I've let lay dormant for many years. Such a sense of humor. You might as well know before you breathe your last breath. There's a very good reason I keep my full powers hidden. You see, exploiting them calls for a drastic transformation. Quite a distasteful one, in fact. Hideous, even. Naturally, I'm somewhat reluctant to sacrifice my looks. But when my hand has been forced, what choice is there? <laughs> I'm waiting. Eager, aren't we? Very well. Don't say you weren't warm. Took you long enough, damn. I'm just sitting here waiting forever so I don't accidentally kill you and change the story. <laughs> For all that pride your people had about becoming hulking monkeys, you were blissfully unaware of my transformation. Well... Gotta make it accurate. Vegeta would be great at baseball. Vegeta is unable to defeat the Transformers Arbon and takes the first opportunity to escape. He also steals the Dragon Ball as Frieza has gathered before chasing after Krillin to take the final Dragon Ball from him. Vegeta is soon found by Zarbon who had been following him. The Saiyans are a true warrior race! Don't underestimate us! There's the original sound. But after coming back from the verge of death, Vegeta's power level had risen enough to win. When he senses the danger, dangerous Ginyu Force approaching, Vegeta offers to cooperate with Krillin to prevent Frieza from using the Dragon Balls. But before they can use them, the Ginyu Force catch up to them and seize the Dragon Balls. After catching Goldo off guard and managing to beat him, there are only four of the elite forces left. Vegeta shivers in, it in anticipation of the battle. Okie dokie, Vegeta! I hope you're ready, because now you're gonna get it! Okie dokie! We are the Ginyu Force. The Krenju Force. Rikum. Ha! Ah! Accurate. I would have done the exact same thing. I'm far from done. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All righty. Kid gloves are off now, buddy boy. Excellent. The Saiyans are a true warrior race. Don't underestimate us. I'm here. I'm not done. I'm here. <laughs> The way he stands. I'm very upset. 
Really? You are? It was that. And you're gonna make me read again. All right, here we go. Raccoon overpowers Vegeta with his strength, leaving Vegeta to struggle. But at the moment, Goku, who arrives on Planet Namek, joins in, and together they easily defeat Raccoon. What do you mean, together? Vegeta and the others use the sensor beans brought by Goku and, and ready themselves for the fight against the Ginyu Force. Vegeta leaves the field of battle and begins looking for the Dragon Ball stolen by Captain Ginyu. It is now that Vegeta notices Gohan and the others have used the Dragon Radar to find the Dragon Balls first. He intends to summon Parunga, deal with his two enemies, then have his wish. But then Captain Ginyu, who has switched bodies with Goku, arrives with Jice to attack Gohan and Krillin. Hey! Eyes up! You're dealing with me now! Don't kid yourself! What makes you think you can take me now, Vegeta? Because with each battle, I'm getting closer and closer to becoming a Super Saiyan! Oh, come off it with your fairy tales! I don't get to fight Goku as Vegeta? What bullshit is this? After defeating Jais, Vegeta closes in on Captain Ginyu. Captain Ginyu attempts to switch bodies with Vegeta, but... Goku dies between the two fighters, reclaiming his own body. The wounded Goku begins to recover his strength in pre preparation for fighting Frieza, while Vegeta takes the opportunity to rest. However, Gohan and the others take advantage of the lull to summon Purunga. But suddenly, Guru dies. Purunga disappears, and Dragon Ball is turned to stone. Now, Frieza, who has been traveling toward Purunga's column of light, makes an appearance. I really must hand it to you. In all my years, I've never been so angry as I am now. Now, you'll pay! You vile pill-sucking maggots will rue the day you cross my path! Prepare yourselves to embrace oblivion! Go on, then. Do your worst. But if you think this is going to be easy, then you're dead wrong! You haven't a clue. I'm becoming a thing you fear most! The legendary Super Saiyan! <laughs> Do you really expect me to take such desperate boasts at face value? I've heard enough of your pathetic lies! And da da da! Erf. And we're skipping a lot of things. After withstanding Frieza's attack, Vegeta taunts him, telling him to transform. Frieza responds, but the difference in their power levels is too great. It is now that Piccolo appears. He is fused with the, the Namekian nail and obtained incredible power. Piccolo and Frieza are locked in a dead heat, but Frieza still has two more transformations up his sleeves. Frieza has transformed once again, and Piccolo go and stand to fight him. Frieza over says he will let them bear witness to one last transformation. Oh, by the way, they actually show some of it in the other people's stories. 
While Frieza's transforming, Vegeta attempts to use the Saiyan special ability to come back from the brink of death even stronger. I, I don't know how I feel about this separate story thing. It kind of jumbles up the story for all the people who don't know what's going on in Dragon Ball. As Vegeta orders, Krillin lands a threatening the boat on him, not leaving his fate to the end day, the making with healing powers. Had to read that quickly because it was about to move. Dende refuses at first to heal Vegeta, citing all the Namekians he's killed. Go and have her begs Dende, leaving him no choice. Now get ready. As so, Vegeta rises from the brink of death to once more face Frieza, who has finally shown himself. You little wretch! Consider yourself lucky I didn't incinerate you! Uh. uh, uh. The rest of you stay back. Just keep your eyes peeled and enjoy the show. Someone's full of confidence, you poor fool. The helplessness of your situation has made you delusional. I doubt you'll be so smug once you realize what you're up against. What stands before you now is the thing you fear most. I am a Super Saiyan. Clearly not, but okay. There won't be a shred of you left when Kakarot wakes up. Bang. No bang for you. Energy drinks are bad for you. I have no key. I think I'll toy with you a bit. Sorry it took me so long, Vegeta, but it's my turn now. You aren't gonna want to hold anything back, Frieza. Not against this one. You see, Here he she's goes. what you fear more than anything else in the universe. You're dealing with the real Super Saiyan! Freeze is not amused. <laughs> Honestly, I would have gotten tired of it after oh, Vegeta, said you said that. You forget. I don't enjoy jokes, and you've never been very funny. You murder! He couldn't even defend himself! <laughs> Kakarot, I need you to know what happened to planet Vegeta. Where we were born, it's gone. Not because it collided with a giant meteor. It, it was Frieza who did it. We served him blindly for years. And he disposed of our entire race. Wiped us from existence. I, I'm begging you, please, beat him. For me, for the pride of our race. You must defeat him. Please, he must die by a Saiyan's hand. Mm, time for the Android Saga.
While Vegeta lies defeated, Goku reaches his Super Saiyan form and finally defeats Frieza. With this, the epic battle on Planet Namek comes to a close. Back on Earth, those slain by the Frieza Force are resurrected using the Dragon Balls. Vegeta 2 is revived by the Dragon Balls and begins living at Bulma's house in West City. Just as Goku returns to Earth, a young man arrives from the future. He delivers a message that in three years, androids will appear and most of the population will be killed. To ensure his survival, Vegeta dedicates himself to training. Time passes and just as the man, man had said, two androids appear. Androids 19 and 20. Goku collapses from a heart, heart virus during the attack, but Vegeta comes to the rescue and he... Yeah, yeah, okay, that's right. With my anger at its peak, it happened. Finally, I have become a Super Saiyan! The awakened Vegeta takes the fight to the androids. Different moveset, finally. You say you androids don't feel pain? You're Hit me. Very lucky. Hit me. Don't just stand there hit me. Fine, I'll hit you first. He just tanked that. He did. Do not bother, it is futile. Rude. Trying to say stuff here, come on. Stay there. Try this. Try this. You're kinda easy so I'm toying with you. I took it personally. <laughs> Cursed robot! He escaped away faster than I thought! After witnessing Vegeta destroy Android 19, Android 20 flees. It then comes to light that Android 20 was Dr. Zero all along. Vegeta pursues Dr. Zero. Vegeta pursues Dr. Zero as he heads towards his laboratory, but Dr. Zero seals his own fate when he awakens Android 17 and 18. As soon as they come online, come online, they put a swift end to their creator. They then proceed to boot up Android 16, another model. Which Windows is he on? <laughs> now, a team of three. The androids depart for a place where Vegeta and the others won't find them. Vegeta catches up with the androids and lands before them. All right, Vegeta, you voice this one. Well, well. Not the sort of place I expected to find you three. But it'll have to do. Your leaving all of a sudden got me curious, I'll admit. Where is your destination? Goku's house, wherever it is. To kill him. Just as I thought. But you're never going to get there. Because I, Vegeta, shall crush you here and now. Hey guys, Vegeta seems to be pretty cocky, doesn't he? It must be a Saiyan thing. They always talk such a big talk, and then they end up dying so fast. It's a shame. You shut your mouth, you disrespectful toy! I'll rip all three of you to pieces. Who's first? Let's play. 
Just you and me. Nice try. I'm not done! I'm not playing around! battles. But did he win though? Did he really? You skipped the kick, how dare you? Even in Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta has lost to the androids and cannot hide his frustration. I am sad they skipped the kick. He then enters the hyperbolic time chamber with trunks, having been told that he can use it to get several years worth of training in far less time. I'll be honest, this has probably been one of the most subpar story modes I've ever played. In terms of DBZ games. When they finish training the, in the chamber, Vegeta and Trunks leave to battle Cell. Even after Cell has absorbed under its 17 and grown stronger, Vegeta smiles with the certainty that his own training makes him superior. Now, watch closely, Cell! because I'm about to wipe that disgusting smirk off that face of yours! You... You're not Vegeta. You're not! You've changed. You've become something else! That's right. I am Super Vegeta! Now don't get me wrong, the game is still hella fun. It's just a story mode is just lackluster. Let me show you. Iconic. Giving you those few more moments, buddy. Do you actually believe this perfect form of yours can make the slightest bit of difference against me? I, I, I know it would. I would have fire something up. Fire something. Keep talking. I think you're dead. I, know. I think you're I'll dead. I'll allow myself to be goaded into your trap. Go on, obtain your so-called perfect form. Did he just survive? Father, no! Stand aside, boy! Well, I'm gonna mark you in seconds. This is the end for you! Eat this! 
Get out of the water. Where are you aiming, Vegeta? What was that? What was that aim he just did? We know. Whatever that's for. You're making a mistake, Father. We can't let Cell reach his perfect form. I've already seen one future ruined. I'm not gonna stand here and watch it happen again. I'm putting an end to this. Even if that means I have to go through you. Is that so? <laughs> Who are you trying to fool? You're too soft-hearted to attack your own father. <laughs> So, he actually did it! <laughs> Cell really is transforming. Now we'll see if this perfect form of his is everything he made it out to be. <laughs> so this is what you wanted to achieve so desperately? Perfectly ordinary is more like it. Did swatting that little pest make you feel all big and strong? I hope so, because that was the last taste of victory you're ever going to enjoy. I suppose we'll see about that. But for now, I wonder if you would be so good as to assist me in warming up. Sure. Just know I'll be turning up the heat rather quickly. I'm terrified. No.
Very well. To be fair, it did leave a mark, it just regenerated. Even Super Super Vegeta's final flash is not enough to defeat Cell. So even Vegeta collapses under Cell's furious attacks. Trunks attempt to come to the Trunks attempts to come to the unconscious Vegeta's aid, but he is defeated by Cell without managing to land a single blow. Cell then prepares the Cell Gains battlefield and leaves the scene. During the Cell Games, Gohan di Goku dies, protecting the Earth from Cell's self-destruct. However, his son Gohan emerges victorious against the monster. S seeing his arrival perish, Vegeta loses his purpose for fighting. However, on the day Trunks leaves to return to the future, Vegeta shows up to bid his son an awkward farewell. Def Ooh, saga. No matter the opponent, I never lose. You never lose. Sometime after Gohan defeats Cell, the now grown up Go Gohan travels to meet Vegeta and discuss participating in the world tournament. He agrees to take part in the tournament. Goku, who is in the other world, also decides to participate. In order to beat Goku at the world tournament, Vegeta begins training with his son. Okay. If you can punch me in the face, I promise I'll take you to that amusement park you're always going on about. Really? You mean it? Here I come! Now let's just see what you can do! He may be a super saiyan, but he's still a child. No way in hell I'm letting myself get hit. Really? Is that all you've got? At the World Tournament, Vegeta reunites with Goku. As a result of the draw, Vegeta is due to fight Goku in the first round, and is finally able to take joy in, in battle. However, during Gohan's first battle, Yama and Spopovich invade the battlefield and take to the skies with Gohan's stolen energy. Vegeta immediately joins Goku in following Spopovich's trail. Before long, Yam Yama and Spopovich are killed by Babadi, and Deborah has turned Piccolo and Krillin to stone. To turn Krillin back from stone, Vegeta and the others follow Debora and fight him. But as Vegeta watches Debora and go and fight, he becomes frustrated at not being able to fight Goku at the World Tournament. So Debora and Babadi seize on, on Vegeta's selfish desires. Submit your mind and body to me! <laughs> <laughs> Babidi's using the evil in your heart to control you. Clear your mind. 
Remove all thoughts from your head. Sh shut your mouth! You... you know... nothing! Yes, yes! Now you belong to me! <laughs> now that you're under my control, I shall push your power past its limits! <laughs> To gain the opportunity to fight Goku, Vegeta lets Babidi's spell take over. After Babidi's magic teleports him to the World Tournament, Vegeta shows his intent by ravaging the stadium. Babidi! Move us to some place where there's no one else around! I'll give Vegeta the fight he wants, but not here! If they if they keep fighting in the arena, countless people will die. Realizing this, Goku agrees to fight Vegeta, but demands a change of location. After finding a place where there are no humans or animals, Goku and Vegeta assume fighting stances. Abadi tries to manipulate Vegeta into killing Supreme Kai, but Vegeta is determined to fight Goku and rebels against his influence. Let's go! It'll be over soon enough when I kill you! You know, it's pretty amazing. While I've been in Otherworld, I've done nothing but train, and yet here we are now. You and I are evenly matched. What does it matter? Your inborn talents have still placed you out of my reach. Even after all these years, that remains the same. I wanted to go back to the cold-blooded saying I'd been in the beginning. The one who didn't care about anything but besting you in one-on-one -on -one combat. But surrendering to Babidi's magic was a price I was willing to pay. If it meant I could be my old self again. And as a result, I've never felt better. That isn't true, and you know it, Vegeta. There it is again. Right. This is how we ended, ended Kakarot. Be gone. You're dead. He must have finally been revived. Nice and Vegeta. Another character I do not have to buy. After being told that Majin Buu will kill everyone, Vegeta had no choice but to drop his fight with Goku. Goku says that if they fight as one, he is sure they can take out Majin Buu. Vegeta feels responsible for awakening Majin Buu, and after knocking Goku unconscious, he departs to confront the villain, determined to fight to the death. When Vegeta arrives in front of Majin Buu, Gohan's key has already evaded. So, is that pink blob with the cape Majin Buu? Well then. You're going to pay for what you did to Kakarot's son! What's that? It just means you're big and ugly. That made Boo angry! So Boo made you dead! 
I'm not going to hell alone. I'm taking you along for the ride. You shall die by now. What is that? What is this? Is you? But but yeah yeah yeah. Generating any wound, then defeating him in battle may be impossible. Dad! Show me the right story, not the alternative. But he defaces the fact that he cannot defeat Majibu with his normal combat power and is left with no choice but to put his life on the line. Turning to Trunks, who came to his aid, Vegeta gives his son a few final words. Trunks, listen. Take good care of your mother. What do you mean by that, Dad? Why are you telling me to take care of Mom? You know, from the time you were a little baby, I've never once hugged you, because I always wanted to make you a tougher man. Huh? Come here, son. Wait, Dad? What? Hey, cut it out. You're embarrassing me. Take care, Trunks. All right? <laughs> well, I finally figured out how to deal with you. Just in time. Goodbye to you all. Bulma. Trunks. And yes, even you, Kakarot. He didn't do the pose. Minus points. Vegeta has sacrificed his life in the battle with Majin Buu, but King Yama decides not to send him to hell just in case. Instead, Vegeta is taken back to Earth by Fortune Teller Baba. Vegeta arrives to assist in the battle against Majin Buu. Goku just said the two of them fuse using the Patara. However, Vegeta refuses the request. When we fought, you hid the true depths of your power, letting me believe we were equals. Now I saw it all from Otherworld Kakarot. You let me win, so you could keep the secret of Super Saiyan 3 to yourself. Dad, then maybe this will convince you. Boo has absorbed every person we've ever cared about. Krillin and Chi Chi too, even Bulma. Piccolo, my sons, Gohan and Goten. And your son, Trunks! They're all trapped in Majin Buu! Uh, uh, Vegeta! Here and give it here! Ah, what are you waiting for? Hurry! 
Hurry up already! Thank you, Vegeta. I'm Vegeta and Kakarot together. Guess that makes me Vegeta. And this. Get ready for this. Is Super Vegeta. What the hell is this? Just what are you? Vegito allows Majin Buu to absorb him, and the fusion d dissolves into inside Buu's body. They are once again Goku and Vegeta. Inside Majin Buu's body, Vegeta and Goku successfully rescue Gohan and the others. Furthermore, Vegeta and Goku find the very first Majin Buu, release him, and escape from inside Buu's body. However, that leads Majin Buu to transform once again, and this time into an embodiment of evil itself. N now beyond anyone's control, Majin Buu destroys Earth. Goku uses instant transmission to take everyone to the land of the Kai's, but Vegeta is angry at Go Goku for rescuing Mr. Satan and the others instead of Gohan and their friends. And the Supreme Kai again gives them Batar for their fight against Majin Buu, Vegeta refuses, saying he wants to fight with his own strength. Buu follows Vegeta and, and friends to the land of the Kai's. After telling Dende and the others to run, Vegeta and friends prepare for their final clash with Buu. What do you say we get this thing started and see just what everyone can do? Good. Who's up first? I'll fight you for it. Rock, paper, scissors! What? <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, scissors! Shoot! Shoot! Damn it all! All right, time to hit him with everything I've got. Cause if we lose this one, then the whole universe is history. I want to see this Super Saiyan 3 of yours with my own eyes. <laughs> Our final battle has begun. With the fate of the entire universe riding on the outcome. Your strength. It's truly amazing, Kakarot. You've always been like this, ever since the day I first met you. You were prepared to meet a challenge, even when it was bigger than you were. You never fight to kill, or even to win, only to test your limits and become the strongest you could possibly be. How can a Saiyan fight with such power, and at the same time be so gentle? Perhaps it's my anger that made me blind to the truth for so long. Hang in there, Kakarot. You are number one. Even Super Saiyan 3 Goku cannot defeat Majin Buu. Goku is confident that he can do away with his opponent if he can build up his key to the limit. However, he tells Vegeta that he cannot find an opportunity to do so. To give Goku time to build up his key, Vegeta goes Super Saiyan and confronts Vegeta Majin Buu. Stay alive, Vegeta. Thanks, but I'm already dead. I'm 
impudent scum! That's what it was. One more thing. One more thing. To remember, if you let me finish it. Okay, so that's the combo. Vegeta tries to buy time, but Majin Buu defeats him. It is now that Mr. Satan appears and declares that he will vanquish Majin Buu himself. Seeing this, Majin Buu attempts to kill Mr. Satan. But the original Majin Buu splits from Majin Buu and begins to defend Mr. Satan. However, he does not last long. Goku, who is supposed to have been building up his key, gets exhausted and in turn cannot sustain his transformations. Vegeta smiles wryly, realizing that the tide has turned against him, but he also has an idea. He issues orders to Dende and the others and gathers them to make him Dragon Balls. Vegeta then proceeds to revive Earth and all the people killed by Majin Buu. However, Goku has yet to realize what Vegeta is thinking. The plan is underway. It's time for you to create a spirit ball. Wait, so your big plan is you want me to make a spirit bomb? But even if we had enough time to gather the energy for it, it might not be enough to beat Boo! No, the Earthlings will save themselves for once by contributing every ounce of spirit energy they have. Spring Kai, I need to make an announcement that every person on Earth will hear. Can you make that happen? Don't worry, I'll do it. It's time, my special. Okay, guys, it's all set. You can speak not to just Earth, but the whole universe if you want. That's more like it. Citizens of planet Earth, can you hear me? Please listen closely. As I speak, a great warrior is fighting Majin Buu on behalf of all Earthlings. But despite his bravery, the odds are against him. We need your help. Raise your hands in the air and offer your spirit energy to help us defeat Buu once and for all. Hey, hardly anyone from outside our circle of friends is giving us their energy. This isn't good. The fat Majin Buu is about to die. Kakarot! I'll do what I can to buy you a little more time! Over here, Majin Buu! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
idiots. Why aren't you cooperating? Quit yapping and start helping. Or would you rather ignore the request of the great Mr. Saint? I'm kind of in the middle of defeating Mazu Boo right now. So the sooner you send your energy, the better. <laughs> We gotta hold out just a bit longer, Vegeta! If anybody has to put their hands up, then do it already! That's it! <laughs> Pitiful. <laughs> Out of the way, Vegeta! Now! Here it comes! Thanks to Mr. Satan's plea, they succeeded in collecting enough key from everyone on Earth. Blow his evil pink behind the way already! Nice work, Mr. Satan! Go to hell! Go to hell! <laughs> 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 Roger Boo is not appeased. D damn it all! D <laughs> Although the spirit bomb pr proved successful, Goku lacks the power to land a hit on Majin Boo. Goku! We used Purunga's third wish to heal you! You should be able to power up! Thank you, Dragon Balls! Later. Ah! Lucas Spirit Bomb completely erases the evil Majibu. Vegeta and the others are ready to return to Earth after having their injuries healed. Having be been revived by the Dragon Balls, the friends embrace the victorious Goku and Vegeta. You rule, Dad! Who'd have thought Vegeta would be such a gifted speaker? Oh, that's my husband for you. Thus, peace returns to Earth, and perhaps Vegeta will continue to fight for the sake of his beloved family. Hey. You're fucking with me. You are not skipping the stuff that happened in a Tournament of Power, are you? Oh my god, you are. You're, you're fucking with me here. Are you serious? That just leads to a different route that ends to a dead end. Does Vegeta really not have... What about the fight with him and Topo? What about Royal Blue? Yeah, what about Vegeta's Royal Blue transformation? What is it, DLC? Ah, oh, that's lame. Oh, that's several levels of lame. Shit. I guess that's it for this one. Shit, what the... Ah, uh, uh, Lame.